Good morning, folks. So unfortunately, maybe you've owned some Bally cordless cellular blinds and you've got one or maybe many that work for crap. Uh, you can't get, get them to pull down. Not about staying down, but they won't pull down or they just won't go up. So some of mine are out of warranty. Do your warranty first. Bug the crap out of them. But uh, here I'm showing you the problem. See that? They should have one string coming out of that little that little part there. As you can see, I've removed this and uh, see that little slack between one string and the other? That's a key to what's causing this problem. So anyway, so I've removed it as you can see from the wall, popped off the, uh, the dust cover. And so now I'm trying to pull the string to get it unwound because what's happened is the string because it was too slack on one side, the string basically started to wind around the shaft, not the white round thing that you can see there. So it's, it's caught around the shaft. And this is, this is the immediate cause. So we're trying to unwind it. Uh, I don't recommend trying to do it just by pulling with manly force on the string because since it's wrapped around the shaft itself, you may apply too much force and break the string. So I'm using a couple of pliers here to slowly unwind it. And as you can see that little that little black cover, uh, you can snap that off if you want. You can see what you're doing a little bit better. So at this point, I've got it unwound and got the string off of the, the steel square shaft. Now I'm going to do a control. Now once again you can see, now there's just one string coming out of that notch. I'm going to do a controlled rewind. It doesn't matter if it's super smooth rewind, you know, the string can overlap a little bit. I don't think it matters much. the quick stretch out and retract and that should work with no problem you shouldn't have any binding and it should retract and now you can see it's kind of rewound pretty pretty nice and once again you just have that one that hasn't uh, run off the edge now what I've done is I've just placed it on a flat surface uh, fully compressed and you can see you have just a tiny bit of tension here on the string where it's going into the shade and on this side you see all the slack that's the problem because that slack allows that string to get all cattywampus and then it gets off the edge of that drum and gets around the shaft so I'm going to basically take up that slack remove that little ink cap pull off the bottom and now you can see here's see all that slack with the shade pulley fully compressed and on the other end it's on the other end essentially there was no slack so you have two choices you can either try to sh shorten up the long one or you might find it easier to actually lengthen the other one a little bit in other words you still want to make them equal I'm not a knot expert so figure out your own knot anyway put it back together and uh, I can tell you it worked just fine. Thank you much.